Most of the Trump children have become well-known to the public over the years, but Baron Trump remains a family outlier. Baron is the only son that Donald has with First Lady Melania Trump. He remains a mystery to many. Seldom seen and almost always with his mother. Baron doesn't occupy the headlines or make much news himself, unlike many other first children, like Chelsea Clinton, for example. Have you ever wondered what Baron is interested in or what school he goes to? Curious about what his life was like since he moved out the White House? Wonder no more. Here's the truth about Donald and Melania, Trump's only son. Melania Trump intended to keep Barron out of the spotlight. During Barron Trump's tenure as a member of the first family, his public appearances were sparse and mainly confined to traditional events like Inauguration Day ceremonies and the White House Easter egg roll. This deliberate choice by Donald and Melania Trump signaled their commitment to maintaining a level of privacy for their son. Melanie Trump emphasized this stance in an October 2016 interview with ABC News, where she expressed her desire for Barron to have as normal a childhood as possible. She spoke about her efforts to educate him about current events while ensuring he had time for school sports and other activities away from the spotlight. Melania's dedication to shielding Baron from excessive public attention was evident as she prioritized his well-being and development. Throughout Donald Trump's presidency, Baron's limited public appearances underscored the family's commitment to maintaining his privacy. Even as the Trumps relocated to Washington, D.C., Barron remained largely absent from public events, as noted by the Washington Examiner in December 2018. Melania Trump, speaking with Fox News' Sean Hannity around the same time, reiterated her dedication to providing Barron with a fulfilling childhood, despite the unique circumstances of their family's situation in the Capitol. In 2020, when inappropriate comments and speculation about Barron's parentage surfaced on social media, Melania Trump took to Twitter to defend her son's right to privacy. Her tweet emphasized that Barron, as a minor, deserved to be shielded from the political arena and afforded the same privacy as any other child. Barron Trump was the first boy to live in the White House in decades. After Barron Trump's relocation to Washington, D.C. with his mother, Melania Trump, in June 2017, he made history as the first boy to reside in the White House in nearly six decades. The last time the nation saw a first boy was in 1961, when John F. Kennedy's son, JFK Jr., took up residence in the presidential abode as an infant. Barron's arrival at the White House echoed the flair associated with the Trump family as he disembarked from Marine One and strolled across the White House lawn to his new home, sporting a shirt adorned with the words, The Expert. While Barron may not have had an entire wing of the executive residence to himself, the luxurious lifestyle he was accustomed to in New York City didn't undergo significant downgrades in his new living quarters in the nation's capital. Reports from Inquisitor indicated that the White House boasted a staff of approximately 100 individuals dedicated to ensuring that all of the Trump family's preferred amenities were readily available, ranging from snacks to toiletries. Baron had a nanny, but Melanie was a hands-on parent. In the months following Baron Trump's birth in May 2006, Melania Trump shared with the Palm Beach Post that while they did have a nanny available when needed, they still aimed to maintain a semblance of normalcy in their lives. Melania emphasized the importance of balancing parenthood with their other responsibilities. However, in a 2015 interview with People magazine, both Donald and Melania Trump asserted, that they didn't rely on a nanny to assist in raising Barron. Melania expressed her commitment to being hands-on as a parent, highlighting the significance of her presence in Barron's life, especially given Donald's frequent travels. Nevertheless, just days after this interview, Donald Trump contradicted this assertion in typical fashion, revealing to the New York Post that there was indeed a young woman who assisted with Barron's care. Despite these conflicting accounts, reports consistently portrayed Melania's dedication to raising her son without the aid of nannies. However, speculation persisted, 
especially during the Trump family's tenure in the White House. In 2018, Stephanie Winston Wolkoff, a former advisor and friend of Melania, shed light on the matter in her book, Melania and Me, The Rise and Fall of My Friendship with the First Lady. Winston Wolkoff alleged that Melania perpetuated the notion that she eschewed the use of nannies during Barron's early years and delayed pursuing her own endeavors until he started school. However, according to Winston Wolkoff, there were always individuals present to assist with Barron's care, including the family's cook, Melania's assistant, and often Melania's mother. Even during their time in the White House, Barron reportedly spent time with Secret Service agents when not in the company of his parents. Barron Trump is fluent in two languages. Barron Trump's linguistic abilities showcase a blend of his parents' backgrounds, reflecting both his father's heritage and his mother's Slovenian roots. In a 2016 interview with GQ magazine, Melania Trump proudly revealed that Barron was fluent in Slovenian, her native language. Notably, Barron frequently conversed in Slovenian with his grandparents, who resided near Trump Tower at the time of the interview, underscoring his connection to his mother's culture. Moreover, Melania Trump once boasted to People magazine in 2009 that at the tender age of three, Barron was already proficient in French, alongside his mastery of Slovenian and English. Describing him as very special and noting his penchant for nonstop chatter, Melania highlighted Barron's early multilingualism. However, two years later, during an appearance on The Joy Bahar Show, Melania mentioned Barron's fluency in only two languages, specifically Slovenian and English. The absence of French from her statement raises questions about Barron's proficiency in the language at that time. Was he not yet fluent enough to merit mention? Or did his linguistic focus shift away from French? Baron Trump and his mother lived in New York for the first six months of the Trump presidency. The presence of children in the White House is a familiar aspect of American presidential history. Barack Obama, Donald Trump's predecessor, had two young daughters when he assumed office, and numerous administrations have welcomed children and teenagers into the residence at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. However, following Donald Trump's victory in the 2016 election, Melania Trump made it clear that she and Baron Trump would not immediately relocate from their Manhattan penthouse to the White House. Melania's decision stemmed from her desire to avoid disrupting Barron's school year, as reported by the New York Times. Officials indicated that Barron would remain in New York for at least six months following the election. In addition to concerns about Barron's education, Melania also expressed apprehension about subjecting him to the scrutiny of the media. Despite these reservations, the Trump family eventually made the move to Washington, D.C. in June 2017. Nonetheless, Melania remained cautious about the decision to relocate. According to reports from People magazine, Melania's reluctance was not solely influenced by Barron's schooling, but also by her affection for New York City. Highlighting the personal considerations that factored into the family's transition to the nation's capital. Melania Trump calls Barron Trump Mini Donald. Melania Trump's affectionate nicknames for her son Barron offer insight into his personality and interests. Describing him as Little Donald and Mini Donald, Melania highlighted Barron's strong will, intelligence, and independent nature in an interview with Parenting Magazine in 2012. She emphasized that while Barron shares physical resemblances with his father, it's his unique personality that earns him the moniker of Little Donald. During the same interview, Melania revealed Barron's aspirations at the age of five, expressing his desire to follow in his father's footsteps as a golfer and businessman. She painted a picture of Barron as a creative and inquisitive child who enjoyed building and drawing. Melania recounted how Barron would meticulously recreate structures he had seen or imagined, showcasing his attention to detail and vivid imagination. In a separate interview with ABC News in 2013, Melania once again referred to Barron as Minnie Donald, a term that may inadvertently evoke comparison with his older half-brother Donald Trump Jr. Donald Trump didn't change his youngest son's diapers, 
In her 2012 interview with Parenting Magazine, Melania Trump provided insight into her and Donald's parenting dynamic, revealing that Donald wasn't involved in tasks like changing diapers or putting Baron to bed. However, Melania emphasized that this arrangement worked well for them, underscoring the importance of understanding each other's roles within the family unit. She expressed her enjoyment of being fully immersed in caring for Baron, cherishing every moment of motherhood. Despite not being involved in certain caregiving tasks, Donald Trump demonstrated his affection for Barron in other ways. Melania shared that father and son bonded over activities like playing golf and sharing meals together at Mar-a-Lago, the Trump family's Florida retreat. These moments of family time were cherished by Melania, who noted the enjoyment they derived from spending quality time together. Golf emerged as a recurring theme in discussions about Donald's relationship with Barron. In a 2015 interview with People magazine, Melania reiterated the duo's fondness for golf outings and intimate dinners, highlighting their shared interests and bonding experiences. While some may interpret these activities as resembling business transactions more than familial bonding, Donald asserted his pride in being a devoted father. Melania echoed this sentiment emphasizing the mutual respect and admiration shared between father and son. Despite their differing approaches to parenting, Melania and Donald prioritized fostering a strong connection between Baron and his father, nurturing a relationship built on love, respect, and shared experiences. He received gifts from A-list celebrities after he was born. When Baron Trump, the youngest son of Donald Trump, was born in 2006, he received a slew of extravagant baby gifts from notable celebrities. Among these gifts were a luxurious white mink coverlet from designer Dennis Basso and a massive stuffed dog from renowned journalist Barbara Walters, as reported by People magazine. However, perhaps the most eccentric gift came from talk show host Ellen DeGeneres, who sent Barron a gold stroller complete with its own chandelier. Melania Trump was later photographed pushing the elaborate stroller around their penthouse, acknowledging the humor in such an extravagant gift. In addition to these lavish presents, friends of the Trump family reportedly gifted Barron with a variety of onzies adorned with catchphrases made famous by Donald during his time on Celebrity Apprentice, including the iconic, You're Fired. Interestingly, some of the celebrities who showered Barron with gifts later became vocal critics of Donald Trump and his administration, with DeGeneres being a notable example. It's curious to ponder whether these celebrities recall their generous gestures toward Barron amidst their public opposition to his father's presidency. A former butler also thinks Barron's a mini-version of his dad, former First Lady Melania. Trump's belief that Baron Trump takes after his father, Donald Trump, is echoed by others close to the family, including their former butler, Tony Senecal. Senecal shared his observation that of all of Donald's children, Baron bears the closest resemblance to his famous father. Senecal's perspective is further supported by an amusing anecdote he recounted about a conversation he purportedly had with a two and a half year old Baron. According to Senecal, during one breakfast encounter, young Baron, seated in his high chair, addressed him with surprising assertiveness, saying, Tony, sit down, we need to talk. While the authenticity of this anecdote cannot be verified, it paints a vivid picture of Baron exhibiting traits reminiscent of his father's confident and commanding presence. Although it remains to be seen whether Baron will follow in his father's footsteps, and adopt his iconic catchphrase, you're fired. The notion isn't entirely far-fetched. With his lineage and upbringing, Barron certainly possesses the potential to make his mark in the world, whether it be in business, politics, or elsewhere. As the saying goes, never say never when it comes to the ambitions of a Trump. Barron Trump was thought to be the reason behind Donald and Melania Trump's push for an e-cigarette ban. In September 2019, then-President Donald Trump addressed the concerning rise in e-cigarette use, announcing forthcoming strong recommendations from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration regarding flavored e-cigarettes. This decision came in response to a series of deaths 
and hundreds of reported lung illnesses linked to vaping. Prior to this announcement, Melania Trump took to Twitter to express her deep concern about the escalating use of e-cigarettes among children. She emphasized the need to protect the public from tobacco-related harm and prevent a generation of youth from falling into nicotine addiction. Melania's advocacy on this issue was evident during a subsequent press conference, where she sat alongside Donald as he addressed the dangers of vaping. Donald acknowledged Melania's involvement in bringing the issue to his attention, subtly referencing their 13-year-old son without mentioning Barron by name, describing him as a beautiful young man. The mention of Barron in this context sparked speculation on social media, with some users suggesting that Melania had discovered Barron vaping. The founder of Roskill Stream, Ethan Ralph, even claimed that Barron had been caught with a jewel, leading to humorous speculation about the impact on the availability of mint pods. Despite the rumors, there has been no confirmation or denial of Barron's alleged involvement with vaping. Donald later clarified the couple's approach to parenting on the issue, stating simply, We haven't told him anything but, don't vape, don't vape. This statement underscores the Trump's stance on the matter and their commitment to discouraging underage vaping, regardless of any speculation surrounding Barron's involvement. Barron Trump is really into sports. In 2017, at the age of 11, Barron Trump made headlines when he joined D.C. United's under-12 soccer team as a midfielder, showcasing his passion for the sport. Since then, Barron's love for soccer has only grown, with his skills on the pitch earning him admiration from fans and professionals alike. In a video posted on Sports Bible, soccer enthusiasts praised Barron's performance, with one user even suggesting that he should be called up to the United States national team. Former D.C. United striker Patrick Mullins, who had the opportunity to meet Barron during his team's visit to the White House, remarked on Barron's impressive knowledge of the game. Mullins was struck by Barron's passion for soccer and his ability to engage in meaningful conversations about the sport, highlighting the positive impact of children like Barron growing up with a love for the game. Melania Trump, Barron's proud mother, revealed in 2018 that her son is deeply immersed in sports, emphasizing his dedication to athletics. However, it seems that one sport Barron is unlikely to pursue is American football, especially if his father has any say in the matter. Donald Trump expressed reservations about the safety of football in an interview with CBS News' Margaret Brennan before the 2019 Super Bowl. Trump voiced concerns about the sport's inherent risks and the ongoing issue of player safety, stating that he would have difficulty allowing his own son to play football due to these concerns. Baron Trump made his television debut when he was two months old. Donald Trump's youngest son, Baron Trump, made his television debut at a tender age of just two months old, appearing on The Oprah Winfrey Show. The Momentous Occasion was orchestrated by Oprah's close friend, Gayla King, who interviewed Donald and Melanie Trump, unveiling Baby Baron to the world in the process. During the interview, when questioned about the experience of parenthood at an older age, Donald expressed his delight, describing it as terrific, and praised Melania as a fantastic mother. Melania reciprocated the sentiment, highlighting Donald's involvement in caring for Baron. She revealed that Donald made a point to spend time with their son every morning, engaging in activities like watching television and reading newspapers together. The conversation then turned to the choice of name for their newborn son, with Donald disclosing that Baron had always been a name he admired but hesitated to use until then. Following the discussion, Gail King had the opportunity to meet Baron in person, although he was reportedly quite fussy at the time. King also took a tour of the Trump nursery, which was described as being adorned with a beautiful crib and an array of stuffed animals, showcasing the care and attention to detail put into creating a nurturing environment for the newest addition to the Trump family. Baron Trump has been the victim of cyberbullying. Being part of America's first families may seem glamorous, but it also comes with its own set of challenges. 
Baron Trump, as the son of a president, experienced some of these challenges firsthand, particularly when he became the target of cyberbullying attacks while he was just a middle schooler. In 2017, Barron found himself thrust into the spotlight when a now-deleted tweet from Saturday Night Live writer Katie Rich sparked outrage. The tweet, which made a disparaging remark about Barron's future, drew widespread condemnation and led to Rich's suspension from her job. The incident shed light on the darker side of being a presidential child, as Barron became the subject of cruel and unfounded speculation. However, Barron was not alone in facing the harsh realities of growing up in the public eye. Chelsea Clinton, the daughter of former President Bill Clinton and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, took the offensive comments personally and came to Barron's defense. In a Facebook post, Clinton emphasized that Barron deserved the chance to enjoy his childhood like any other child and spoke out against cyberbullying attacks directed at him. Following the controversy, Rich issued a public apology for her tweet, expressing regret for her actions and acknowledging the harm caused by her offensive words. She deactivated her social media account temporarily, but later reactivated it to share her apology, acknowledging the inexcusable nature of her behavior and expressing remorse for the hurt she caused. He was absent from his father's farewell speech. In January 2021, as the Trump family bid farewell to the White House, their departure marked the end of an era and the beginning of a new chapter for the incoming Biden administration. President Donald Trump's exit from the White House was a family affair, with his wife, Melania Trump, standing by his side during his farewell speech. Trump's children, including Ivanka, Donald Jr., Tiffany, and Eric Trump, along with their partners and children, were also in attendance to show their support for their father. However, amidst the familial gathering, one notable absence was Baron Trump, the youngest son of the 45th president and Melania Trump. Although Barron was reportedly on Air Force One with his parents as they departed for Florida, he was conspicuously missing from the farewell speech delivered by his father on the tarmac. According to reports from People magazine, Barron's absence from the public event could be attributed to Melania's protective instincts as a mother. Throughout Trump's tenure in the White House, Melania, particularly, was known for her efforts to shield Barron from the spotlight and maintain his privacy. Given his status as the youngest member of the Trump family and Melania's only child, it's understandable that she would prioritize his well being and minimize his exposure to public events, especially during moments of transition and uncertainty. He enrolled in a private school in Florida. Since departing from the White House, the Trump family has found a new base in Palm Beach, Florida, where they have been predominantly residing at their members-only Mar-a-Lago club. While Melania and Baron Trump previously divided their time between New York and other locations, their relocation to Florida appears to have become more permanent. This transition was further solidified when Barron was enrolled in a prestigious private school in the area. Barron's enrollment in the class of 2024 at Oxbridge Academy, an elite private school, was met with anticipation and excitement from the institution's community. Scott Siegfried, the director of advancement at Oxbridge Academy, expressed enthusiasm about Barron joining their school and community, highlighting the warm welcome extended to him. However, attending such a prestigious school comes with a hefty price tag. The annual tuition at Oxbridge Academy stands at $3,800, with an additional yearly fee of $2,500, as outlined on the school's website. Moreover, the school has taken measures to ensure Barron's safety and security during his time on campus. Before Barron commenced his studies, the institution sent out an email to parents, informing them that he would be accompanied by a small group of Secret Service agents for protection. The school reassured parents that they were working closely with the Secret Service to ensure that security measures were implemented discreetly and with minimal disruption to the school's day-to-day -day operations, 
Baron Trump's height sparks debate online. The height of Donald and Melania Trump's youngest son, Baron Trump, has become a recent topic of discussion, drawing attention due to his impressive stature. The 17-year-old was recently seen alongside his parents at the funeral of his grandmother, Amalia Kanav, in Palm Beach, Florida. Standing at a towering six feet seven inches, Barron significantly surpasses the heights of both his mother, who is five feet eleven inches, and his father, who is six feet three inches. The Trump family was accompanied by Melania's father, Victor Canavs, as well as several U.S. senators at the service. Barron's remarkable height at such a young age has piqued curiosity and sparked speculation among observers. During the GOP campaign, Donald Trump humorously attributed Barron's rapid growth to his late grandmother's cooking, joking that Barron got so tall from eating her food. Additionally, Donald disclosed that despite his towering stature, Barron's athletic interests lean toward soccer rather than basketball. Donald recounted an exchange where he suggested Barron might become a basketball player, only to be informed by Barron of his preference for soccer. Following Barron's recent public appearance, his height has generated considerable discussion online, with social media users sharing their astonishment and admiration. Many expressed amazement at Barron's towering height, with one user marveling. Look how much taller Barron is. It's fantastic, isn't it? Another user shared a picture of Barron along with a caption highlighting his unprecedented height, while yet another speculated about Barron's potential as a future presidential height. And that's all for today's video. What do you think Barron Trump will grow up to be like? Comment down below to let us know. As always, if you found this video is interesting, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel to support us. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.